If we start at the smallest scale with the Planck constant, we find it is very often linked to 2 pi. This happens so often in quantum mechanics that a new mathematical symbol was created called h bar to represent the Planck constant divided by 2 pi. In this video, instead of making new mathematical symbols, we are going to explain a geometrical process that the maths is based upon. In maths, 2 pi can represent three things. Number one, it can represent a complete rotation on the complex plane. Number two, it can represent cylindrical symmetry that has line symmetry. And number three, it can represent a two-dimensional aspect of spherical symmetry. I will explain these three different aspects of 2 pi within one universal process with the Planck constant being a constant of action in the dynamic geometrical process that we see and feel as the passage of time. In this diagram we have the complex plane with zero in the center representing t equals zero. We can think of this as one photon electron coupling or dipole moment equals zero, the moment of now, with the positive numbers representing an infinite future and the negative numbers representing an infinite past. There is symmetry between the positive and negative numbers representing the symmetry between the future and the past as the future unfolds with each photon electron coupling or dipole moment. This forms CPT symmetry with symmetry between charge, parity and time. We have symmetry between matter and antimatter and because the absorption and emission of light or photon energy is spontaneous, there will always be the continuous annihilation of antimatter. In this theory, the antimatter annihilation represents the past at the smallest scale of a process of continuous energy exchange with the probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics representing the same uncertainty we would have with any future event. In the equation for Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, we find not just energy and time, but also we find 2 pi representing cylindrical symmetry. Each rotation of the complex plane forms a new Riemann surface as the future unfolds photon by photon. This process will form cylindrical symmetry that we can see in this image of a sine wave forming a vector with line symmetry as the process unfolds. But this is formed by spherical symmetry, with light waves being formed by the wave particle function or probability function in the form of an inverse sphere. In mathematics, a sphere is represented by 4 pi. And if the equation for Heisenberg's uncertainty principle is reformulated using position and momentum, we have 4 pi. The interior of a sphere is naturally three-dimensional, giving us the three dimensions of our everyday life. As a process of continuous spherical symmetry forming and breaking, this also gives us a geometrical reason for positive and negative charge, with a concave inner surface for negative charge and a convex outer surface for positive charge. Therefore, we can have the use of the holographic principle with the information of our three-dimensional universe encoded on a two-dimensional boundary condition by the movement of positive and negative charge. This whole theory can be explained in just one equation with energy equals mass linked to the Lorentz contraction of space and time. The Lorentz contraction represents the time dilation of Einstein's theory of relativity. We have energy slowing up the rate that time flows as a universal process 
of energy exchange, or what I like to call continuous creation. Mass will increase relative to this process, with gravity being a secondary force to the electromagnetic force. The C2 represents the speed of light radiating out in a sphere of electromagnetic radiation from its radius, forming a square of probability. We have to square the probability of the wave function, because the area of the sphere is equal to the square of the radius of the sphere, multiplied by 4 pi. This simple geometrical process forms the probability and uncertainty of everyday life, and at the smallest scale of the process is represented mathematically by Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. In such a theory, we have an emergent future unfolding photon by photon with the movement of charge and flow of electromagnetic fields. The brackets in the equation represent a dynamic boundary condition of an individual reference frame with an arrow of time or timeline for each frame of reference. The infinity symbol represents an infinite number of dynamic interactive reference frames that are continuously coming in and out of existence. As a universal process of energy exchange, each individual is in the center of their own reference frame with a probabilistic uncertain future unfolding relative to their actions. In such a theory, creation is in the hand and eye of the beholder. Thanks for watching. Please share and sub. It will help the promotion of this theory.